Hello everyone. Children, let's start with the NAS based questions. Practice test series 3. Earlier we have done the practice test series 1 and practice test series 2. Now let's start with the third series. Coming to the question 1. Name the petroleum product used in metalling the ropes. So option 4. Bitumen is the right answer. Then the second question. Teacher told the students in the class about various agricultural practices. Which of the following is not an agricultural practice? So out of these, which one is not followed as an agricultural practice? Sowing seed. This we do in the field. The farmer does in the field. Then adding manure and fertilizer. This is also an agricultural practice. Distribution system and harvesting. Harvesting, when the crop is ripe, harvesting is done. So option three, distribution system is not an agricultural practice. Then question three, teacher told the students in the class that the level of groundwater is dropping in Punjab. What could be the solution of this problem? So answer, question option one, drip irrigation system. Second is sprinkler system. This should be followed as it reduces the wastage of water. So both of the first and second option, they are right. So here the right answer is option three. That is both of the above. Both the drip irrigation system as well as the sprinkler system. They should be adopted as an option, as a solution to the problem of the dropping of the level of groundwater in Punjab. So question four, Manoj's mother throws the kitchen waste of her house such as peels of vegetables and extra food outside her house due to this foul smell spreads and it looks dirty. According to you, what could be the solution to this problem? So the compost should be prepared from this waste. This waste should be thrown somewhere else. You should not throw the waste here and there. So this is wrong answer should burn the waste. Waste should also not be burned because it produces harmful gases and it causes the pollution. None of these. So answer uh, the option one. It is the right answer. Then question five. Rima's elder sister told her that a natural process helps in nitrogen fixation. What is that? So option one that is lightning. This is the right answer. It helps in the fixing of the nitrogen in the atmosphere. Then Suresh came to know that by sowing different crops alternatively, instead of growing the same crop again and again every year, the presence of nutrients in the soil is maintained. Can you tell what is growing different crops alternatively known as? So the this is a practice which is done where the crops are planted on the same piece of land and this is done to maintain the nutrients of the soil as well as to get rid of the weeds from the land. So this process children this is known as crop rotation. So crop rotation is the right answer. Let's mark it crop rotation. Then question number seven. While putting on his socks, Deepak saw one of the thread from his socks was out. He tried his best to break the thread but was unable to do so. His mother told him he has to cut this thread because it cannot break with pulling it as it is very strong. He curiously asked his mother about the thread and came to know that it was dash dash most of the socks are made of this fiber. So most of the socks, they are made up of nylon. So here, option three is the right answer. Option three. Question eight. Sunita told her mother that her mother always bought pet bottles, PET, pet bottles for rice, sugar and water. What is the full name of pet? 
polyethylene tetraphthalate. Option four is the right answer. Then question nine. The teacher is telling that some substances are hard, malleable, sonorous. Which substances generally have these properties? Hardness, malleability and the ringing sound that is sonorous. Sonority is the property of metals. So option three that is metal is the right answer. Question 10. Kajal noticed that there is a green layer on her picture made of copper. Due to which substance is this formed? So the copper picture must have been exposed to the moisture for long. That is why it acquired a green layer. And the green layer that is the material is there copper hydroxide and copper carbonate. And children, this, it is formed due to the reaction of copper with moisture. Since the picture is made of, picture is made of copper, so it has it must have reacted with the moisture that is why it formed that green layer so answer question 10 option 1 copper carbonate and copper hydroxide is the right answer then question 11 sham has read in the newspaper that some people died at night due to burning of coal he asked his teacher the teacher explained that when fuel is burned in limited air supply, a dangerous, colorless, odorless gas is formed, which is caught. So that gas, which is formed by the incomplete burning of coal, is carbon monoxide. And it is a very, very dangerous gas as it quickly mixes with the blood and stops the oxygen supply and the person may die. Question 12. Today, teacher taught the students about matchbox history. He asked the students that which is the main chemical component present on striking surface of matchbox. So what exactly is present on the matchbox when you strike the matchstick with it or rub the matchstick with it so that it burns? The option, third option that is phosphorus is the right answer. So there it is present so by friction or when, when the match stick is um, strikes the surface of the matchbox then the, it burns and heat is produced and light is produced and a flame we get question 13 Gita was making roti on gas stove the roti burnt on a pan and turned into black substance she asked her teacher and he told her that when substance is heated at high temperature it turns into black substance and that black substance what is it called it is everything that burns better that leaves ash with it and that ash is nothing else but carbon then moving to the question 14 Seema read in a newspaper that a family got unconscious in a closed room with burning coal in it she asked reason from teacher. Her teacher told her that a poisonous gas is produced which leads to death. According to you, which of the falling gas would be responsible for this? So here again, again here the gas is option one, carbon monoxide gas. Option Three carbon monoxide and this gas is also known as a silent killer even the persons who, who are breathing this gas they don't know that they are breathing carbon monoxide and it mixes so fast and quickly with the blood and it stops the oxygen supply so that the person may die without even knowing that what is the reason behind it so question 15 Gagandeep Singh heated a definite amount of water from 1 kg of cow dung and 1 kg of coal separately. He observed that coal products more produced more heat than cow dung. It is so because of option 2, the calorific value because cal calorific value is different for every fuel. Then question 16, which is the best fuel for kitchen in present time from the given fuels so one first is lpg then cng third is biogas 
and fourth is cow dung cake. So LPG is the right answer. And then question 17. Umesh visited Dharamshala last week. There he saw trees of deodar and pine. There he saw some organisms which are found only in that area. Such species are called as, so the species which are restricted to a particular area, they are called the endemic species. Then question 18, write the names of the endangered animal species in Satpura National Park. So children here we have to give the uh, names of the endangered animal species. Endangered species are the species which are at a risk of extinction. So here option 1, tiger, elephant, wild water, buffalo, swamp deer. It is the right option. But at the same time, option 3 that is leopards because they are found in the Satpura National Park. It is also an endangered species. So these option 1 and 3 are correct. Actually, this leopard it should be included in this one, option one. So all of these, tiger, elephant, wild water buffalo, swamp deer, and leopard, they are endangered animal species. Then question 19, what do we call the thread-like structures in the nucleus of cell? So the thread-like structures in the nuclear, present in the nucleus of the cell are called the chromosomes. And they carry the genes Question 20, give the basic difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Option 3, nuclear membrane present in eukaryotes and absent in prokaryotes. Then question 21, teacher told in the class that the process of fertilization occurs in sexual reproduction. Which of the following statements about fertilization is correct? Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes. Yes, it is right. Zygote is formed as a result of the fertilization. Yes, zygote is the result of fertilization. So option 1 and 2, both are correct. So here we, give, we can write option 3. That is both 1 and 2 are correct. Then moving on to 22nd question, 22. Ravi knows that the meaning of reproduction is to give birth to a living being like oneself. He wants to know which is the first step of reproduction in humans. What would be your answer? So fertilization is the first step for the reproduction to give birth to a living being. Then question 23. The features which help to distinguish the male from the female are called sex chromosomes, primary sexual character, secondary sexual characters and all these three are right so the option four all of these is the right answer acne and pimples on the face are due to secretion of so there is secretion of fatty glands which are called the sebaceous glands under the layer of the skin that is why acne and pimples are produced so option 1 is the right answer for question number 24. Then question 25. The hormone which regulates the development of secondary sexual characters in males is option 1. In males, testosterone. And in females, it is estrogen. But here the option 1, that is testosterone for the male secondary sexual character is the right answer. Then 26th question. Mohini's brother is a tailor. She went to his shop. He was doing work with in his shop. Mohini started playing with scissor and cloth, but scissor wasn't working. Then his brother told her that it is difficult to cut clothes using a blunt part of blades of scissor because blunt blades put dash pressure compared to sharp edged blades. This is because the blunt blades they push uh, produce put less pressure. If the blades would have been sharp, then they would have produced increased or more pressure. So here option one, that is less pressure was put with blunt blades. That is why it is not cutting the cloth. Then option, question 27. Deepak 
kick the ball while playing hockey in the playground what is he doing so changes the speed of ball yes the speed of the ball initially it is slow then it is moving very fast with the force here the dipak applied then second changes the direction of ball changes the shape of ball so answer 1 changes the speed of the ball and changes the direction of the ball fourth option is the right answer for this question question 28 in tug of war game in school both teams pull each other with unequal forces the net force applied by them is so on both of the sides there are two teams and the rope is being pulled between those two teams and they are pulling the rope with unequal forces so here what is the right answer there is difference of two forces towards one side there is more force and towards the other side there is less force so there is a difference between two forces so option 1 is the right answer here then question 29 Harjit went to mechanic for the cycle repair. Mechanic advised him to change the following part shown in the picture. And what is the name of the part shown in the picture? Children, you must be familiar with this part. You must have seen it in your cycle. It's in the center of the rim with spokes in it, and it is called ball bearing. Then question thirty. Teacher told if some drops of an acid are added in water, it will become a obviously it will become a conductor it will start conducting that is electric it will allow the electric current to flow through it so that's all for the practice test series 3 solutions practice them and learn them children take care thank you